Right, here's a very quick video to just show you how to use the topic index uh, for my book. So we're on the dnachange.com uh, website, churchdnachange.com website. And we've clicked on resources, and this is the page that you would see. And here's the section related to my book. So just click on the topic reference, and there it is, it comes up. Now what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to, there's, there's lots and lots of uh, topics here, so you need to be able to find quickly what you want. And you don't want to have to scroll through all this because there are many, many pages on this, um, this topic reference. So what's a fast way of doing this? Well, what you do is, first of all, let's zoom in and make it bigger. And we'll zoom in again and make it a little bit bigger even more. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will go up to um, the edit um, command line at the top. And we'll look for find because we want to find something. So go to find there. And right at the top here on the top right hand side, you'll see a little box open up and it says there are 18 matches. So if there's 18 occurrences of the word say hell here. And so we look for the very first one. So let's just um, uh, look for that one. And here it is here, it's just been highlighted. You can only just see it. it's not a very good highlight, but there it is. So you want to find the next one. You click on the little arrow there, and here's the next occurrence, page 448 in my book. And there's the next occurrence here is Charles Spurgeon talking about hell is 447. And the next one is Don Carson, his rebuttal of annihilationism view of hell. That's there. Uh, the next one being full of good intentions, page 81. Uh, and not and being alone, page 264 and so on. To get the next one, a place of pain. Yeah, you get the idea. So that's how you use the, um, you can get around the topic index very quickly. Okay, I hope you enjoy that.